Good morning, my friends. I'm Clover, and this is Genuinely Approachable Sudoku. Um, sorry in advance if you hear any noise in the background. I'm, uh, I'm dog-sitting. So, today we are solving Andy Knight A.T.H. Gin Kitten by Philip Newman, the second half of the title being an anagram, a somewhat overwrought anagram of Andy Knight. So this is, or actually not even an anagram, but a, a reversal of anti Knight. So this is an anti Knight palindrome Sudoku. So we have standard Sudoku rules, replacing the digits one through nine, once each in each row, each column, and each three by three region. On top of that, we have an anti Knight rule, meaning that any two digits that are separated by a Knight's move, as in chess, so like one space over and two spaces up, or one space up and two spaces over, can never be the same. So for example, none of the cells that I've highlighted can contain a two because they are a Knight's move away from this two here. And then finally, there are some palindrome lines in the grid. Those are the gray lines, and the, along each of the gray lines, the digits have to read the same forwards and backwards. So for instance, we have a four in the second position from the start of this line here, so we're also going to have a four there. We'll have a three on the far end of this line, a one and a two in those two positions, a seven and an eight in these two positions, a five here, and I think we've, oh, no, nope, there's also going to be a six right there. And those are all of the digits that we can fill in immediately, but as we continue working, we'll have to use the fact that, for example, these two cells contain the same digit, these two cells contain the same digit, and so on. Okay, so I'm going to start with these twos. Two has to appear somewhere in region three. It can't go in these cells by Sudoku. It also can't go in this cell because if it was, if that was a two, then we'd also have to place a two here to obey the palindrome rule, so this is going to be a two. Now we have sevens here and here. This can't be a seven because we'd also have to place a seven here. So this is going to be our seven in region seven. That's going to be either a seven or a nine. That's going to be a two or a nine, and that will be a two, seven, or nine. Now I'm going to look at fours and fives in the center of the grid. I have a four here. By regular Sudoku, four can't appear in those cells, and the four here rolls four out of these cells. Now also by anti knight, four sees these two cells as well. So the only two positions for four in region four are these two cells. If I put a four here, I have to put a four up here as well by palindrome, which is fine. If I put a four here though, I would also have to put a four here, which breaks. So those are going to be my fours. And I get the same deduction on fives. The fives see all of these cells and I can't put another five here without breaking the palindrome by placing two fives in region five. So that's gonna be a five and that will be a five. Now I'm going to take those, those two fours there. They see all of these cells, and I can't place a four here for multiple reasons. It would break palindrome and also anti-knight, so that's going to be a four, which puts a four on the other end of that palindrome. These two fives here see everything in region two except for these two cells, and for various reasons I can't put a five here, so that's going to be a five, and that will be a five. Now, I believe that at this point we can place the rest of our fours and fives, if I'm not mistaken. I have a four here and a four here. They see these cells and these by anti knight in this region. And now just by Sudoku, I have to place a four there as well. And by Sudoku, I'm going to have a four here. Now, if I look at these fives, I have a five there and fives here and here. So that sees all of these cells. There's a five in one of those. I have five here and five there. That sees all of these cells. So there's going to be a five there, placing a five right here. And now by Sudoku, I'm going to get a five here. Now, where to next? This is a pretty complex puzzle for gas. Um, so I've solved it a couple of times now, but I'm going to have to be careful to remember the solve path. Um, I've got a one here and a one down here. So between them, these ones see all of these cells at, and not counting the cells that are already occupied, of course. So that's going to give me a one there. And now I have a one over here. I have a symmetrical deduction with the eights here. They see all of these cells between regular Sudoku and anti Knight. And so now I have to have an 8 in one of these cells. So now I'm going to have an 8 in one of these, and I'm going to have a 1 in one of these. 
That doesn't immediately rule anything out because I could also have an 8 here that would obey palindrome as far as I can tell and I could also have a 1 here that would also obey the palindrome. Okay, so now let's just look at narrowing down these digits. So this has to be 6, 7, 8, or 9. It can't be a 7 because it sees a 7 in the column. So this is also going to be a 6, 8, or 9. And I can't go much further with that right now. Actually, that's probably not the next move. So look at these threes real quick. So we see these threes. They see these cells in region 1 by Sudoku. There's a 5 there. The 3 sees this cell by Anti Knight. So that's going to be a 3. And now these sixes see all of these cells by regular Sudoku and this cell by anti Knight, so I'm going to have to place a six right there. So in this region, my remaining digits are six, seven, eight, and nine. I'll rule seven out of here and six out of here and here just by Sudoku because I have six and seven in those columns. Now I need to place a two in column one somewhere. I can't go right there because the two there sees it by anti Knight, so there's going to be a two in one of those cells. That means the 2 in column 2 has to be in one of these cells, but it can't be here by anti Knight, so it's going to go right there. That in turn sees this cell by anti Knight, so we're going to place a 2 right there. So my remaining three digits in this nearly complete row are 1, 3, and 9. Now I have a 7 here. This 7 sees these cells, so I can place a 7 right there. And now I have 7 seeing these cells, so I can place a 7 right there. So that gets these down to 6, 8, or 9, and this is also 6, 8, or 9, and this is 1, 3, or 9. These are going to be from 1, 2, 3, and 9. That's not a 2. In fact, I need 1, 3, and 9 in this column. And there's a 3 in that region already. And in this column, I'm going to need 6, 8, and 9, and that can't be a 6 because there's a 6 in the region. So, I need 1, 2, 3, and 9 here, and that can't be a 2 by Sudoku. And then that's going to be either 1, 3, or 9. And these two are going to match, and they're also going to match this, which is not a 3, by the way, because there's a 3 in the column. So we can rule 3 out of those. There's also no 3 here. This is either 1, 6, or 9. How about these pairs? So this, just by regular Sudoku, has to be 3, 6, 7, 8, or 9. It's not an 8 because there's an 8 in the row. So this is also from 3, 6, 7, or 9. It sees a 3 and a 6 by anti Knight, so we can eliminate those. So that cell is going to be either a 7 or 9, and that will be duplicated. Now this is kind of an interesting trick, and I'm not sure whether this is intended or not, but because I'm doing the walkthrough now, I will just go ahead and show you this. These digits are the same. And they have to get repeated somewhere in region 6. So they have to be somewhere in these cells. They can't be a 5, so they're definitely not there. They could be a 7, but could they be repeated here? They actually couldn't, because if they got repeated here, we would have to place another one of them right there, meaning we'd have two 7s or two 9s in region 5. So they actually must be 7 and get repeated right here. And I thought that was kind of charming, regardless of whether that's the intended next deduction. This can't be a 3 by anti Knight, so I need a 3 in one of these cells. And I'm going to leave that on the table for the time being. These guys are the same. They can't be 7, they can't be 4, so they must both be 2 because they have to get repeated somewhere in these three cells. So those are both going to be 2, so that's not a 2. That means our only 2 in region 9 is going to go right there. That's going to be 1, 6, or 9. This now has to be a 9 because we have a 2 and 7 in the region. That makes this a 7 and a 2. And that's from 6, 8, or 9, so the only place for a 7 in row 1 is right there. Now that can no longer be a 9, so that's not a 9. And this is also not a 9 by anti Knight, so the 9 in row 7 goes there. So we can eliminate 9s from these cells. These can't be 9, both by Sudoku and by anti Knight, so my 9 in this region goes here. And now I have a 3 there, and this is my only position left for a 3 here, so those are both going to be 1s. That's a 1 by Sudoku. That's an 8 by Sudoku. That's a 3, just to finish the region. 
And we are getting close to finishing up. That's now an eight because it's an eight, nine by a value that sees a nine. I can eliminate three from here, making that six and one. This is now a six. And I have a nine in the column. So that's an eight, nine, nine, eight, and eight. That's an eight. That's a nine. That's a six. That's a nine. That's going to be a six. And now I just need two more digits to finish up. And those are going to be a three and a six. And that is how you solve Philip's lovely, mildly spicy anti-night palindrome Sudoku. Hope you guys enjoyed that. The link to solve it yourself is in the description of this video. And I will see you again shortly.